Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in our last video, we have discussed about OpenAI embeddings, uh, OpenAI embedding models, which is actually a paid version, right? What I what I mean is whenever we use that, the the OpenAI team will deduct some amount from our account. And uh, there is another way of creating the emb embedding models, another way of using the embedding model that is the hugging face embedding models. So hugging face is a we can say it's, it's a open source framework or or we can say it's a framework uh, and uh, the people will or the community will share their models data set among the community or among the uh, AI engineers okay so here we can see if you go to the hackingface.com we can see that there are a lot of models are there these models we can use freely and we have a lot of data pieces, data sets are there this also we will able to do fine tuning processes and here we have a spaces in which we can deploy the models and all those things we can do okay and uh, there are paid version also we will able to have some spaces and we will able to deploy that okay and it is good to have a account here just go and create a account so which is free i mean we don't you don't need to pay anything on that so the model that we are going to use is uh, all mini so this is the model that we are going to use for the embedding instead of open AI embedding okay so before that we have to do some kind of a setup in our project for that i have added a, a package in the requirement.txt file that is langchain hugging face so you guys can come and install that okay so pip install minus r requirement.txt okay so in my case the requirement is already satisfied so it may take maybe like five to six seconds to complete the installation based on your network speed okay and uh, once that is done what we can do we can come and import the hugging face model here for that we can use langchain uh, somehow the auto complete is not working so langchain community dot embeddings embeddings we can import hugging face uh, we can have BGE embeddings. Believe this will be fine. Let me execute this. Yes, it's working fine. And I can create an embedding model. I can have an embedding model. This will be a queue face. BGE embeddings. Okay. So here, model name can be. Here model name can be let me copy the model name from here. So this is the model name that we are going to use. So let me copy this and paste it here. Let me execute this. So it says hugging face uh, model hugging. Okay, so now it's executing. So once it's executed, what it will do, it will download this particular model to our local machine. So it will take some time. So meanwhile, what we can do, we can complete the rest of our code. So I'm going to have a result. Okay, what I can do, I can have a embed dot model. I mean embed underscore model dot uh, embedded. underscore Cori and I can pass Cori okay, this is a test application okay it is taking more than what I expected okay let's see since still in progress So what one good thing about Langchain is it is actually keeping the same structure with respect to all component. So if it is um, splitter, it will keep the same 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 structure for all the splitters. And if it is loader, and it is keeping the same methods with respect to loaders. And if it comes to the hugging face models, it is keeping the same methods with respect to the hugging face models. When we discuss about OpenAI embeddings, we will be using the same methods, right? Uh, embed query. So here also we are using the same method. So it is very easy to switch between the models or understand the workflow. Okay. Okay, it is taking some time. So let me complete uh, some. Okay, so it's done. So let me execute this.
okay so the execution is completed let me add one more cell we can just print the result okay so this is our result and we can check the length of the result you can see its uh, size so it is a 384 is, is dimension okay and what we can do we can also embed the models also for that what i can do i can have a result dot uh, emb embd model all right let me copy and paste embd model dot m embed underscore documents here i can say that first query comma second query okay so it is uh, if you look on the result length length of the result we can see that there are two documents are there that is why we are getting the two and i can get the first one zero so this is the first one i can check the length of the result one result zero so this is 384 okay so in this way we can easily use hugging face models or hugging face embedding models and we will able to create embeddings using the hugging face model so that is all about in this video i will be uploading this uh, this this notebook to my github repository and uh, you guys can use it for your studies so thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day bye bye